The Munster Under-20 development side claimed to win over Ulster at Thoman Park last Friday in what was their only Interpro of the September action. Ulster got off to the perfect start when Rory Butler crossed in the opening minute, with captain Johnny Stewart converting, and Stewart added another before Conor Fitzgerald opened Munster's account on 13 minutes. A second Stewart penalty had Ulster 13-3 ahead at half-time, but it was the second half that belonged to Munster, with senior representative Kevin O'Byrne, together with Shane Daly, Sean Duffy and Gavin Coombs, all running in tries. Another senior representative, David Johnston, converted three of the tries to give the home side a deserved 29-21 victory. Munster's under-19 side, sponsored by Bank of Ireland, were narrowly defeated by a late Leinster penalty in their opening game of the Interprovincial Series at CIT. Munster opened the scoring in the fourth minute when Jake Flannery slatted a penalty from a difficult angle inside the visitors' 22, and the home side continued to have Leinster pinned back for most of the opening quarter, but Josh Witcherly had a try disallowed for a handling error just short of the line. Sean French doubled Munster's lead with a long-range penalty in the second quarter before the visitors began to turn the screw, after Munster had a second try disallowed. Instead, Cormac Foley opened Leinster's account with a try following the restart, and that was converted by Ryan. Ryan started a second penalty for the visitors approaching the break, before Flannery missed an opportunity for Munster to leave Leinster leading 10-6 at the interval. Munster upped the ante upon the resumption, and Flannery brought them within touching distance of the visitors as he converted his second penalty from outside the Leinster 22. In the final quarter, French had two penalty kicks, and he put his side back in the driving seat with the latter after the first shot rebounded off the upright. But the decisive score came when Munster were penalised around a scrum deep in their own 22. Ryan converted for Leinster with the last kick of the game to hand them the slimmest 13-12 win. The Munster Under-18 schools, sponsored by Trend Micro, also suffered defeat to Leinster in round one when they travelled to Donnybrook. It was just one minute into the game before the hosts claimed to convert a try. However, just three minutes later, Munster centre John Hurley crossed the whitewash. A second converted try followed for Leinster on the 21st minute, however once again the visitors were quick to reply, with captain Kean Hurley touching down. Ryan O'Sullivan added the extras. Leinster would claim another penalty before the interval to lead 17-12 at the break, and the second half kicked off with another Leinster penalty to extend their advantage. But Munster's substitute out half Jack Delaney soon replied to narrow the gap to just five points, and the tit-for-tat scoring continued. Just 12 minutes into the second half, Leinster had scored their third converted try, but once again Munster responded quickly, with an impressive try from Jamin Hoffman and Delaney converting. The final score was credited to Leinster, who touched down with 10 minutes to go. The full-time score, 34-22 to Leinster at Donnybrook. The under-18 schools did, however, bounce back with a narrow win over Ulster at Thoman Park. The home side were first on scoreboard, following a successful penalty from out-half Jack Delaney in the opening 10 minutes. Ulster scrum half Nathan Doak replied to level the match, and soon after he struck again to put the visitors into the lead. Then came an intercept from Munster's Andrew Hogan for what was the first and only try of the game. Delaney made no mistake in adding the extras to give Munster a 10-6 lead at the break. It was Ulster who claimed the only score of the second half, doing so 25 minutes in with a well-taken penalty off the boot of Doak. That narrowed Munster's lead to just one point, but in a tight second half where both sides had their opportunities, neither Ulster nor Munster could cross the whitewash. The score finished up 10-9 in favour of Munster. This weekend, a doubleheader of action at CIT on Saturday sees the Munster Under-18 clubs open their campaign against Connacht at 2pm, while just after, the Under-18 schools take on Leinster at 4pm. On Sunday, Munster Under-19s travel to the sports ground to face Connacht at 2.30pm.